let me introduce myself before we get started my name is gautam and uh, i'm the senior product manager for payment pages and payment buttons at razorpay so folks without any further delay right let me let me get started and let me know if you're able to see my screen and the presentation as well. are you folks able to see my screen yes super so yeah like uh, we introduced ourselves right uh, razorpay for those who are not aware of razorpay as a as a solution itself let me first introduce razorpay razorpay is one of the pioneers of uh, digital payments in our country so we we've, we've been actively working in the space to help not just uh, you know uh, any sort of business in the country or any sort of individuals who want to collect payments in this country we want to be able to democratize that through our solution which is razorpay Razorpay on the whole has several products in different areas for different merchants and different segments the product that we bring to you today is the payment pages and the payment buttons product so the first question that you know uh, a lot of uh, merchants or you know a lot of uh, organizations like yourselves that we that we you know we hear from that want to start accepting donations but to set up a website and to integrate the payment gateway and to integrate a lot of the payment solutions it's very hard it takes a lot of time i need a lot of tech help i need to hire a developer i need to you know make my website what is the charges for hosting this website all of these things right we want to make this easy because we want to support the great cause that you are actually supporting and we want to make the solution that we offer very easy for you to do by yourself you don't need any prior knowledge if you are able to set up something as simple as a facebook page or able to send a message on whatsapp this should be a great starting point for you to be able to accept or set up a page to accept donations and one of the key factors that we've always seen is investment right like the amount of time and energy that you uh, spend in trying to get a website up trying to get development up you know you spend time with the design and then at the end of it you know sometimes there's always an issue uh, covid has sort of made this even faster you know the rapid pace at which uh, the country has moved from offline to just online and trying to get payments right this is one of the avenues that we've seen and no code tools that we have today at razorpay will be set up so easily and during the course of this call i will take you through creating one of these pages that will help serve as like a demo for you folks to create your own first payment page on razorpay so yeah the all important question what is no code right what's no code and what is the absolute solutions that we have we have two solutions for no code tools at razorpay one of it being payment pages and the second one being payment buttons payment pages is like a custom hosted web page for your needs so this can be as similar to having a website by yourself or by having a link that you can send to any of your donors such that you can accept payments on this page this page will help you collect payments in different forms of payment like you can do neft you can do upi you can do google pay phone pay all all of the payment methods will be covered under both payment pages and payment buttons payment buttons as a product is for mostly the uh, organizations here who probably have a website but don't want to go through the pain of integrating an entire payment gateway into the system okay so let's uh let's look at few of the features of a payment page right now so it's a custom branded landing page for any particular need that you have as an organization at the end of creating a page you will get a link and this link can be shared across all of your donors and this link can be accessed by all of your donors and easy to pay from this link okay uh the other added advantage of having a payment page is that we find that a lot of ngos and a lot of organizations in this space seem to have trouble sending automated atg receipts to any of the donors that make the uh, transactions right 
and to help save the trouble and sort of have uh, help you solve that problem of atj receipts we have integrated a feature inside payment pages that will help solve this problem so the advantages of using a payment page uh, you know there is zero coding involved there is no coding required at all there are pre made templates which you can use to just fill in a couple of details and you should be able to take your page live in 5 minutes there are automated atg receipts that will help solve all the manual effort that is required in sending atg receipts you can customize your urls and your pages according to the brand or the organization that you have you can even customize it say for example you are a big brand and have sub uh, you know sub uh, categories and sub uh, causes that you want to support the causes can then come in your custom url you can customize the images the content inside of this page and like all raise up pay solutions this comes enabled with 100 payment modes and added for the merchants who require international payments you will be able to enable international payments as well for your pages okay and all of the transactions and everything can be tracked on a simple dashboard this is more or less you know uh, you will be able to look at all of the reports you'll be able to collect all of the important information for your organization you know it will reflect your brand colors for a custom experience it will look very professional when you're sending this custom url as well and uh, it's a hosted page for your business without having to go through the pain of building a website by yourself this no code tool will help you build a landing page without any coding at all so let me uh, take a you know a step back here and if there are any questions at this point that we can answer we'll be happy to take them now in a few minutes from now i will create a page for you and i will be taking you through the demo of how easy it is for anybody to set up this page Hey Gautam, can I? Yeah. Oh, I think my answer has been. Your question has already been answered by Mrinal on the chat. Thanks. Great. But do you want to take that, Gautam? I think the question was uh, how many pages uh, can one have? Ah, uh, so much. I think uh, Mrinal has answered it perfectly. There is no total number of pages that uh, you can create on uh, Razor Pay. it just uh, depending on the causes that you have say for example you have a cause which is running from time x to y you have a cause which is probably uh, something different at every single point of time right you'll be able to create a separate donation page for these causes great thank you um i also had a question yep. uh, go ahead yeah please go ahead with it uh actually a couple questions so the uh, atg receipt when that's being sent uh, can we like customize the message that goes in the email yes absolutely you can you can okay. lovely question there Lo lovely question there i'll take you through the entire experience of how even the atg receipt works on razor pay payment pages you'll be able to get a, a sense of how it works and this one technical question like uh, in terms of uh, custom domains mm -hmm. uh, like can i point one of my subdomains like say donate.thypfoundation.org can i point it to your uh, platform so at this point of time we don't have that feature but it is part of our future roadmap for sure and uh, we are looking uh, maybe in a few months time to have that feature at this oh, point of time rithik you'll be able to customize only the url so we have rzp.io mm -hmm. and there's a slash after that that url you will be able to customize All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll take you through the flow, sir. Yeah. Thank you. I see a question here from Abhishek. Uh, would it be mentioned where the money was contributed towards if we have multiple pages? Uh, Abhishek, yes. You will if you have separate pages. The money will go into each of the dashboards and each of the uh, uh, pages that the contribution is made against. This is not. separate it's not an all together dashboard you will have for individual pages as well 
Soumya, so international uh, funders prefer PayPal. Yes, the Razorpay solution for international transactions as well works on PayPal as well. So you need to have a PayPal account to make the international transactions work. Sure. Uh, Sandhi, I think your uh, lovely question, great to connect with you here. You know, uh, take on recurring donations and payments since RBI guidelines have changed completely. Uh, so right now we are looking to enable the solutions of, of the Razorpay subscription stack inside of the payment pages also. So we should be able to do recurring donations and payments inside of payment pages in the near future. Uh, uh, what kind of methods are available for charities interested in mo monthly donations? At this point of time, we have the subscription buttons, which is a ready-made tailored solution for you. But in the near future, you will definitely get the same option as part of payment pages. All right, then. Uh, let me get back to, you know, the uh, presentation itself. We'll run through creating of a payment page and then I'll come back to questions again. Abhishek, if you can just uh, ho hold on on that question, I'll just run back into uh, the session and then come back again. So this is a this is my Razorpay dashboard, and uh, now I'm going to take you through you know how do you create a payment page on Razorpay. I'm currently on the test mode, so no real money is involved in these transactions. It's a dummy uh, page that I'm creating right, right now, and you will be able to create a page either in test mode or in live mode depending on your comfort level. If you want to try out the product, I suggest. You know, you start with the test mode and then go into your uh, payment pages on uh, the live mode itself. So it's simple. Razorpay has a bunch of options which are available today. Payment pages, payment links, payment buttons, all of this, right? The product that we are going to look at right now, payment pages, which is on the whole, a page which does not have, uh, which does not require any coding as such. So... When you start off the payment pages, it will look something like this. When it's your first time, it will give you a couple of read more options. You will have the custom branded, the payment button, the no coding, all of that that we had discussed earlier to come to this page. So as soon as you get started, all of the pages that have previously been created as part of uh, your dashboard will be available over here. And uh, so let me get started. Uh, there is a create payment page button over here. You click that. And as soon as you click that, there are about four or five options that usually come as templates. Since this is accepting donations as the cohort, right, for, for tech for good, we'll go ahead and we'll click on the accept donations page. Use this template here. And you will land on a page which is something similar to this. This will be sort of the organization that you are part of. I have it here as test test because this is a test account. And uh, I will, I'll create a cause today, which is of a donation for, uh, you know, uh, for say, let's, let's call it a donation for uh, books for children. Right? Okay. And, uh, There are a bunch of information that you can provide and then the template guides you through uh, this entire section, which gives you certain cues that you can, you can add. So what is the cause that you're supporting? If you need to provide more information, more images that you need to provide, you know, the tax exemption details, all of this can be entered here. So if I start off here and like I said, like a Facebook page, you can just delete the text and you should be able to add in any information that you have. Uh, 
So I am just going to uh, add certain details on the cause itself. So I will say that my campaign ends in 10 days uh, as part of you know the entire cause itself. You can highlight, change the text. You'll be able to make uh, different font styles and anything that you wish that your page should uh, should have. There are again social media share icons as well that you can add into your page, which will help you, which will help your donors share this page with probably their friends or on their social media accounts. So there is one thing that uh, I've seen a lot of uh, NGOs use as part of payment pages, which is a goal tracker. And a goal tracker usually for NGOs is uh, amount-based funding which uh, the NGOs use. So say, for example, your entire campaign wants to collect about 1 lakh rupees from the donors. And you want to showcase to the donors that there are X number of supporters on the page itself and that there are only 10 days maybe for this campaign to end. All of these things can be configured as simple as, you know, just a click of a button. 16 days left, changed it to 1 lakh rupees right now. If you don't want to display the supporters, you can remove it. You don't want to display, you know, if this is an endless campaign and you want to keep collecting payments, this is also something that can be closed. And again, this entire widget itself, which is part of the payment page is option. If you don't want to have this page here, you can go ahead and create a page without this. So uh, let me save this page. I've, I've added a couple of... Uh, you know, details on this. I want to change it maybe to a normal text because that didn't look great. Uh, you know, if you want to add more bullet points as to what the cost can be and all of that, you can you can go ahead and add all of those. There are your contact information, which is mandatory right now with Razorpay because we want the end customers to be able to contact the organizations in case there is uh, there is an issue so you can uh, you will be you should you will be mandated to add these details in now i'll come to uh, an interesting part of the entire form right which is your payment details there are two ways for ngos that usually work with you can either fix an amount which means that say you want to collect 10000 rupees per donation you will be able to fix this amount here or if you want to leave the customers to decide when you just want them to be able to enter any amount that they can uh, send across to you, you will be able to add the optional amount here as a choice. And this can be edited again, and you'll be able to add images, any description. Uh, say, for example, you want to add buy one book over here. And uh, if you want to add a new price field, say, for example, you want to add a price field for 100 rupees, and you want to say, this is say three books that you want to donate for. You can add it here. There's a simple drag that you can move it around. You can, you'll be able to move any of the details around. Now, a very important step that we see uh, that is required for NGOs, right? Would be the addition of a PAN card number because you want to send out these ATG receipts. So over here in the add new section where you see an input field, you will have several options that you can configure again. There is a PAN number as well, which lets you enter in, which lets a donor enter in their PAN number here at the end. Now coming to one of the questions that was asked as part of the chat, right? How does the ATG, uh, you know, will I be able to customize my ATG? When you're done with this much information as part of your payment page, you can go into the settings on the payment receipts here. Now, there are two options. Either as soon as a transaction is successful from the donor's end, the receipts are sent automatically, or you can stop the receipts from being sent and you can send it later from the dashboard. The bit that we have added in for all of the NGOs in the country is the ATG receipts. So what you need to do when you start off your journey is you click on add your ATG details. You can add in all the custom text that we had discussed 
say for example you know all of the donations are made for tax exemptions under the atg act of and add in your uh, you know the date and all of the information that you require here add in the signature of the authorized person so we give the ability to upload an image of the signature and you should be able to save the details here okay so say for example i i'm going to add in So this will get saved here. You can add in the signature as well. Since this is a dummy account, I don't have that, but I can now click save. Once this is done, basically my payment page is ready for, to be consumed by the end user. So what I can directly go and do is I can click on create and publish a page. Once you get that, you get this URL and the customized URL is available in the live mode, which is what I said that you can change the last part of your url now i'll just share this on the chat feel free to open it and uh, you know have a look at this page that i've created in front of you folks right now and uh, you should be able to view this page i've just dropped the link on the chat you should be able to see the payment page itself if you click on the link I'll take you through a few really good examples of how a few NGOs have used the payment page solutions and how they've collected uh, payments, right? Uh, if in the meanwhile, there are another couple of questions that I can take. Uh, hey, Gautam, uh, just a quick announcement. Yeah. Um, I wanted to check with Manish Kumar, the name of your organization. Oh, can you please confirm in the chat box, please? Thank you. All right, over to you, Gautam. Sorry. No worries. So I hope all of you are able to see the payment page that we've created. Right? And this was pretty seamless. I, I created it in about two and a half minutes while being on call. And uh, it, it takes absolutely no effort from anyone to create this sort of page. I didn't require any prior tech information or coding or any of that sort. And uh, simply in four or five steps in four minutes, probably I was able to create that page. Let me take you through a few examples of really good payment pages uh, that have been created for donations and NGOs. And probably you folks will get an idea of the sort of pages. So we have World Konkani Center who basically used our payment pages. Uh, they have collected about 23 lakhs in the in uh, you know in in the span that they have put up this payment page. They have, you know, they put up a target of about 35 lakhs through this page. They have put in all of the information that is required for their donors to be able to contribute. As I said, they have left their uh, the amount as optional here. Different pages have different, you know, different orgs have organizations have different ways of creating a payment page. So. WKC has put up an optional amount where you can type in any amount that you want to pay and that will reflect accordingly. Uh, the second one that I want to showcase is a smaller uh, donation uh, page, which is, you know, Catalyst for Social Action is our uh, is one of the organizations running this. They, are, uh, they have created a page which is, you know, be a secret Santa to vulnerable children. And like I said, you know, gift a, gift a book is the uh, is the topic that I had taken, but they have gifted a T-shirt for a child, gift stationery kits, and they put different prices and amounts that can be ticked on, and then the total amount of donation will reflect here. Again, uh, they have their ATG donations also enabled, like in the case of WKC also. All of them have the ATG receipt. Uh, sort of uh, taken care of by Razorpay. They have added a couple of additional information that they like, like the address and uh, PAN number along with the full name also that they require. A couple of other uh, payment pages, you know, uh, Bhagavad Gita Foundation for Vedic Studies, you know, has created a page with about 293 supporters. So this is one of the pages that showcases the supporters for uh, their page. And uh, as you can see, they've added an image as well on what they need for how much money they require it and the amount is here. Similarly, I, I, there are different kinds of 
payment pages that i've come across with razor pay you know uh, different feeds uh, and uh, this is these are some really good examples of how organizations have used payment pages i'll stop here and probably take a couple of questions on how to create a payment page and probably the examples that i've showcased showcased right now there's a question on the chat uh, if you want to take that go to what's the limit for the money that uh, we can access through payment pages is there any limitation uh there is right now uh, somya it is 1 lakh but uh, we can on uh, you know request will be able to change that if you if you have a request to be able to per transaction 1 lakh is the limit right now but if there is a requirement that you want to accept more you can send in a request and we'll be able to make the changes accordingly uh, any questions on how uh, the payment pages itself were created i mean i'd love to hear some thoughts on if people found it easy i mean drop in a text on the chat if you found it easy or difficult or you think there are some more challenges before you can create a payment page uh i just have a question hi divya here uh, hi divya go ahead i just saw sanya's comment uh, thanks sanya for clarifying this so uh, to give you a little context we are basically creating a donate page but it's a code based one we haven't used a template which you just showed mm -hmm. we are basically creating a page and there is like you know it be a little customized uh, for the web based on the website look so after submission of the kyc uh, we were asked for two requirements one was for updating our contact details on the website subsequent to which it was of, of updating the online uh, donation terms and conditions with our website standard tnc mm -hmm. uh, we are in the process of doing that but uh, the communication was that before we complete these two steps we would not be able to proceed with uh, anything to do with the account creation Mm -hmm. so i wanted to understand that was this because this was a code based uh, setup and not the no code one that you showed uh, so there were uh, two uh, two ways right the first one is in terms of onboarding onto razor pay wherein there are some risk uh, aversion techniques if i have to call it that we use today to ensure that there are not there are no fraudulent merchant merchants on razor pay itself so which is why we ask for contact details and for the tnc this has nothing to do with the payment page itself on the payment page when you are creating a no code page like i said it is mandatory to create a or add in your contact number and your email so that the donors in case they face any trouble with the page itself are able to contact you sure right that that's fine but we didn't see any specific terms and conditions being mentioned here on the refund policy and so on and so forth so is that is that required as well as part of the onboarding process uh, uh the way I, i don't have a clear answer on this as such i can get back to you with the team uh, i'm not sure the terms and conditions i'm not sure but uh, definitely support details is something that we mandate yes support details are fair we've updated that as well uh, subsequent mm -hmm. to which we were uh, Asked to update this as well. So, if there is a clarification, if you could help me with it, it would be really great. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, definitely, we'll our team will get in touch with you, Divya. Uh, Sanya, Amrana, you can just uh, get uh, Divya's coordinates, and we'll try and get her issues solved. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks. Sure. So, Mat, definitely, I'll I'll just go through the uh, reports flow as well right now. Yeah, Ritwik, go ahead. If you don't mind asking it on the uh, audio, yeah. I I can take it also. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, uh, I didn't quite understand something which we said, which you said a while ago. So, the subscription model you said it's not available in the payment pages, but the button is there, like as in if Correct. we add it as a button. So, uh, hypothetically, could I create a you know page on my website where I have uh, a link to the um uh, you know one subscribe button and one donate button subscribe button will use the button format and then the donate button will take them to the payment is that possible uh so i uh, so that is possible definitely but i think the journey itself for for you ritwik the uh, donors experience would not be as great right mm. when they click on one and probably so the subscription button itself at razor pay comes as a widget so you'll be able to paste that directly okay uh to just answer your uh, question right just give me one second let me see if i can pull up uh, one of the uh, 
or subscription buttons that I have. So I have an example for you here, uh, Ritwik. You can just see how one of the other organizations or an individual has tried implementing the subscription buttons, right? You can just have a look here. So this is how the subscription button widget on Razorpay, uh, once you create it, it will look like. You can create this and click, uh, and this is a code that you have to paste. This is not uh, completely no code. This is more of a low code solution where you have to probably get this code and paste it. Whereas at the same time, this pay now button is a button in itself. This is the donation button that you can use. And this is the subscription button that you can use as well. Okay. Uh, sorry for the uh, notification. Uh, uh, yeah. So when someone clicks on one time, uh, will this still enable all the ATG certificate generation features yes. and all of that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Buttons, that buttons can... has the same solution yeah okay then i'll look into the widget thanks a lot no worries there was an ask from sumit uh, to go through the reports if yep. they, yep. thanks, thanks for that. i'll go through that So Sumit here, uh, you know, just to answer Sumit's question and even take you folks into the dashboards, right? When you click on back to dashboard, what will essentially happen is all of the pages that you've created, say, for example, you have about 50 pages, 100 pages, whatever. And I've created a bunch, you know, for a bunch of sessions that we keep doing. And uh, say, for example, there is a donation goal tracker page that I've created earlier. And the payment details of the of someone who's made a payment will come here. So you'll be able to see, you know, what was, how much did they pay, what did they pay and everything. Total revenue generated from that page will also be there for you. Uh, this is the reports view uh, and uh, Sumit, if that uh, answers your question, you'll be able to get information on the payment page for transactions here, where you'll have the customer information, the amount that they've paid, and the payment ID as well. The payment ID, when you click on it, will give you a bunch of information, what payment method was used, when it was, uh, when did the transaction go through, uh, you know, the total fee, the customer information, uh, email, phone number, and, you know, the payment receipt. And this is the receipt that we spoke about. So if you don't want to enable automated receipts, you can download this receipt, send it to the email by yourself. Thanks for that. The page is helpful. Just wanted to check on if we have different causes or different campaigns going on. So mm -hmm. uh, the page you are showing essentially uh, shows us different page-wise or cause-wise donations or how does yeah. it really work? Yeah, so it, if you are creating different pages for different causes, right? Say this is for cause one and this is for cause two and this is for cause three, the three pages that I have, you will be able to tra track back the payments for each of the pages. All right, thanks. So and this, uh, yeah, on the, yeah. do, the person who is donating, uh, mm -hmm. if we do not have uh, custom questions like name, email or anything like that, Mm -hmm. And if, uh, but if the person is actually paying through a net banking or thing, we still get the information. But sometimes when they pay through UPI, a lot of information doesn't come. So I'll so, tell you where yeah. our solution is slightly different, right? Okay. The two uh, solutions, which are email and phone number over here, are mandatory. You cannot remove the two fields. So when the donor has to make a transaction, these two information have to be entered. 
All right. Be it UPI, be it card, be it debit, credit, any which way that they want to make a payment on Razorpay, these two information through the payment page will have to be mandatory. So there's no way that that information will get missed. All right. And uh, the income tax. Sorry, Sumat, I lost your. It's uh, the PAN number only for donations 5,000 rupees and above. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear yeah, you. So, as I think the income tax income tax law mandates to have PAN number only for donations above five thousand rupees, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, five thousand or above. So, is that this kind of uh, assumption we can also do? Like, if person is actually donating more than five thousand, we can only show the PAN number field then. Uh, so that will not be possible because it's a set static field, right? All of this is static information. If you need the PAN number. Uh, you will have to put it in all of the transactions. Like you said, I think 5,000, it is not mandated. It's not required. But uh, if, say, for example, oh, let's take this example, right? Where you have, uh, if you want to open the page only for a 500 rupee donation and the amount is fixed and no matter what happens, the end customer or the end donor can pay only 500 rupees, then you do not need the PAN card here. But if you right. leave the amount open, it leaves you up to chance whether if the amount goes beyond 500, like in this case, you will always need a PAN number. So I would suggest ideally always keep the PAN number there, especially if yeah. your amount is open-ended. Yeah, the way we are doing, the government is doing, I think it's always best to keep the PAN number. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I think I think that's uh, that's given, I think, even if you're collecting donations uh, less than five thousand, it it would it would be better to collect it, right? So, I mean, you're the experts in that field, and I'll leave the judgment call to you. So, let me get uh, you know if there are any more questions on payment pages, I would love to take it right now because uh, in the next section we'll move on towards the payment buttons as a uh, as an ecosystem. So. I think we have, we have hit about 3.40, right? In about 5 to 10 minutes, we'll try to wrap up our payment buttons as well. So any questions here? Uh, Gautam, I just needed to make a quick announcement again. Um, so for everyone who's already uh, using Razorpay, you can still access a special discount by using the link that we've dropped in in the chat box. Uh, and if you want to sign up for Razorpay for your organization, please use the link again uh, to sign up uh, for Razorpay. We'd help you with the onboarding process and we'll help you with the setup as well. So I've dropped in the link again. So you can use this link to join in. Thank you, Gautam. Over to you. Hi. Also, quickly, uh, we have shared a link for a quick survey. So if you could, uh, you know, just respond to that, that would really help us, uh, you know, curate our future sessions better and also help us, you know, in the product development. And it's, it's our way of, you know, helping us help you. So uh, please uh, uh, do respond to the survey. Uh, and it, it won't take more than a minute. Thank you. Thanks, Pranav. Thank you, Akhila. All right, folks, then let me just quickly jump back into the session and we'll, we'll try to wrap this up as quickly as possible. I know we might just run short of time, but I will try to close this. So I hope all of you can see my presentation. So these are the things that we've already gone through, right? There are a bunch of things that you can do with the payment page and there are advanced options as well. Say, for example, you are running campaigns on Google and on Facebook and you want to track back to which payment page did the merchant come to and you want the details to track back on your Google and Google Analytics and Facebook dashboards, right? We have the ability through plugins and add-ons as part of payment pages to be able to add these pixels. You will be able to add that and also the question that Ritwik had asked earlier, right? Rithvik, once the transaction is complete, you will be also able to redirect the customers to your website or display a thank you message that you like to post a, post the payment. So right. that is another additional experience that we've worked on and we've built for payment pages. So the essential goal here was to take control of the end-to-end -end experience for that one particular page. And these are the three or four features that we've added in right. 
So just a few examples, you know, you you you'll be able to relate to a couple of a couple of you know organizations that have done uh, you know their experiences through payment pages. One of them is uh, Anil Kumar Reddy, who's the CEO and co-founder of Donate Cut. This, this is a you know he he had a couple of big problems, which was limited number of payment options. Sometimes donors, when they see your website, also get put off, right? And that's a huge challenge as an industry itself for NGOs, which is why payment pages as a product from Razorpay made a lot of sense for uh, uh, an organization like Donate Cart, and they've been using us for a long time now, and they've seen some exceptional results for their organization. Uh, this is their payment page that they created, Donate Cart. And uh, they've been able to embed videos, images, do a bunch of stuff on the page to make it interactive. And yeah, we've provided the solution of 100 plus payment methods for the payment page. Another couple of examples I'll quickly run through. You know, Manasta is another foundation that that has helped, uh, you know, for affordable mental health services in India. So again, no IT expertise. How do you get it? How do you generate payment receipts? You can't keep doing all of this manually, right? The ATZ receipt generation. That is where the solution of the no-code tool of payment page is very powerful. Oh, oh uh, uh, you know, this is a case study that is very close to where we are at right now. You know, the Tech for Good community along with Razorpay had built out a solution for A3 uh, and uh, they they were finding it tr uh, troublesome. You know, how do they build their website? You know, how do they get get rid of their high transaction costs, their commissions, and all of this, right? And uh, A3 has been using Razorpay since October 2020, and you know they've raised funds through the platform, uh, through the uh, community of uh, Tech for Good. I think they've helped reach out to Razorpay and help solve this problem for A3. So this is a case that you 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 folks will all relate to. So uh, yeah, this is this is one of uh, the cases for uh, Razorpay itself. Now coming back to the second product that I wanted to run through, and I'll run through this very quickly. I'll probably do it through a video and you'll be able to see it very quickly for uh, payment buttons. Uh, pay, what is a payment button, right? A payment button, like I showed you in the couple of examples on the screen, were uh, are buttons inside of a website. So today, if you have a website and if most of you do have a website and don't want to go to payment pages as a solution, you can create a customizable button which you can place inside of your website and create or sort of start accepting donations through that. Again, this is enabled with ATG, just like in the case of payment pages. It has the 100 plus payment methods that are uh, you know related to Razorpay. We have plugins which have been specifically built for uh, website builder platforms like WordPress, Elementor, Drupal. Uh, I think a couple of more other platforms that you will you'll be able to find the payment buttons there. It's a low code solution where a code will be generated for this button. And because you have the tech expertise to create a website, you can paste this code wherever you like in your website and start accepting donations. So the second type of button, right, that we were discussing earlier was the subscriptions and uh, subscription payment buttons. So if you want to keep collecting or uh, automated transactions, the subscription stack of Razorpay enables this. So you will like the example that I showed you earlier, you can do a one-time subscription or a subscription button and should be able to uh, create this simply. I'll show you how this is done. The advanced billing engine, the ATG, all of this is enabled for this. So yeah, like I showed earlier, the uh, you know you'll be able to see how to add the ATG through this slide. You know, add the signature in, size it in, add it in, and you know the ATG description for the entire receipt can also be added through this. So uh, I'll take. It takes about 50 seconds, so let me run through this through a video rather than me creating it. I think this will help speed in the entire process and I'll take any questions immediately after.
sorry about that no so let me take you through a little more at pace right so the first step of creating a button is nothing but adding a title for your button and creating a type of button that you like here we have a bunch of options in terms of the themes that you can select you can select the razor pay dark theme light theme and you know or uh, you'll be able to play around with that what you want to call inside the button is called the button label so if you want to call it donate now you want to call it something else you can go ahead and definitely change that uh now uh, going ahead for the next few steps if you want to create or leave the amount open ended you can definitely leave it open ended like this but if you want to add preset amounts you will be able to add it through the solution as well which is this way now the next step of the payment button is adding in the fields that you required which is basically if you want the address city pin code name and email you will be able to add it or you can edit and remove the same things so this once a donor clicks on the donate now button this is what happens it will come up as a pop up you will be able to add the amount that you want to pay for add in the particular details and once you click proceed to pay the entire checkout experience of raise pay takes over as well once you created the code Uh, sorry the button what will happen is the html code for the button will get created you will be able to copy paste this code into uh, into your websites and uh, be able to use this so this is an example of you know a website that we had created and able to put the button on the page itself Yep. So that's for payment buttons. Uh, let me quickly run through it. Right, we have a bunch of solutions that we can use it on GoDaddy. You know, you can add it to your Google Sites payment buttons on Blogger, on Weebly, Wix, and a bunch of other solutions that we also have as plugins native to particular solutions. So definitely look at buttons as a solution for uh, donations as well. Uh, another case study here that we've done with uh, uh, with an organization called Poco. you know an organization that works towards uh, reducing the animal suffering through animal birth control programs so a lovely organization to be associated with for payment buttons and they have seen an increase of donations by 15% once they were able to add the donate payment button on their website the one of the biggest challenges that poco faced was that they were rel- uh, relatively a new organization and did not and you did not find many donors have confidence on this by adding the razor pay button right which is always branded below which says secured by razor pay gives the confidence to the donors as well that the payment is secure and that this money is going right into the back account of pop so this is an example of that page as well on the right hand side top corner they put on put on the donate now button and uh, this is a lovely example of a donation page so i'll come to the last bit which is you know pricing and i think akhila and team will be able to uh, get uh, give you more details on this uh, but this is our payment pages and payment button solutions for no code apps of razor pay and i've sort of come to the end of my session for uh, you know the presentation that i wanted to show all of you I'll be happy to take any Q and A right now. Any questions, and we'll wrap up the session post that. Uh, hi, Gautam. I think there was one question by Ritvik that was unanswered. Mm-hmm. Uh, echoing Abhishek's question from earlier, can international payments automatically be routed to our FCR uh, FCRE account and the domestic payments to the different account? uh i'll have to get this uh, you know I'll, i'll need to check back on this i don't have the right answer and i don't want to be leading uh, abhishek through the uh, or ritvik can abhishek to the wrong answer right so let let my team get back on this we will we'll get this check for sure 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 all right a uh, quick announcement again um uh, in case you would like to get connected to the raise pay team and also access a special discount uh, please please use the link that's available in the chat box if you're already an existing user you can still access the discount by using the link if you're a new user we'll help you with the setup end to end uh over to you gautam so open for questions 
open for questions folks feel free to ask any questions related to the product at raise the pay anything that uh, you know you love to get answered sumit i see a question here sumit it's basically a request that you have to put in via the raise the pay dashboard to get your international payments enabled once that process is complete you know i think there is a document or so that you might have to submit and once such through you should be able to accept it yeah to also answer sumit's question we also have a contact that can help you with uh, enabling international payments for you so do get in touch with us we'll be able to connect you i hope you folks found the session use, useful and were able to you know envision how it the solutions at razor pay from the uh, no code suit especially help you create quick pages to start different campaigns for for donors so i hope it was useful and uh, you know I, it was helpful if you have any comments or feedback also on the product and some things that you would like us to add on the product happy to take it on board and you know look at it from how much of an impact it can create for uh, ngos overall and try and look at it and sort of get it out Hey Abhishek, on the FCRA, right? I'm not aware completely of the ruling and regu regulation, so I'm I'm not the right person to be able to answer that question. Let me get that answer by the concerned person at Razor Pay, and we'll definitely get back in touch with you. Uh, sure, Rizik, I'll I'll drop that in here. Uh. i just wanted to ask one thing uh, that what's that one problem that you're currently facing by collecting donations online that you would like to change like any success rates atg receipts anything please drop in your answer in the chat box it would be great and really it would be helpful for us yeah let me also add to what sanya is saying right if there is anything more in terms of collecting payments or there are troubles that you are facing post the payments or anything that razor pay as a solution can help for we'd be happy to uh, you know look at developing a feature that would especially enable for you know enable payments for ngos and donations in particular hey hi uh, this is aditya here from ipsmf uh, as per the new finance act of 2020 uh, all ngos will have to now file uh, the atg returns going for the from uh, this year onwards uh, and you know only the certificate the donation certificates issued under that will be considered for tax exemptions so is there any way uh, the razor pay could help ngos in uh, setting up or uh, you know making these annual returns uh, easier uh so two parts to that question right are there to help your annual uh, you know returns i don't think uh, right now we have a solution as part of the raise a pay dashboard okay. uh, but in terms of atg what we can solve for from each donor that comes in or let me put it like there's a transaction associated to it which has a receipt that we'll be able to generate and we'll be able to give it to you but to be able to go probably help you to give this to the regulator i don't think we'll we'll have a solution yet right now you know because un un unless this return is filed the uh, the atg uh, receipts will not be valid uh, anymore uh, from mm -hmm. this year onwards god you know so something definitely that we can look into we are not sure as to how the uh, process on the uh, the government side also works right and that's something that we we definitely will look into aditya thanks so much for that thank you Uh, a a simple request to all the uh, non profits so please refrain from uh, sending out e request emails for setting up razor pay to gautam and team they we are the ones that will be helping you with that so please use please use the link in the chat box to do it uh, if you have any questions or you want to be connected to someone in to understand razor pay in detail we can connect you to the sales team who would be able to help you with that
Akila Sahana, uh, yeah. Um, would you share this link as an email as well with the participants? Yes. If we have everybody's email ID as well yes. as the recording in case they want to kind of go back and see the setup. Yes. Yes, Sahana. So the recording along with the deck and the link for setup will be sent via email to all the participants. Hi, hi folks. One quick request, right? We have uh, shared the survey link again on the chat. It would really help if, uh, you know, you just took about two minutes to really respond to that uh, would really go a long way in, in supporting, uh, in, like I said, helping us help uh, you. So please, please uh, do respond on the survey. Um, I had another question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so um, like what happens often is that, uh, you know, we keep changing uh, websites, you know, hiring new developers and all of that. So right now, like I, we know that we want the subscription option. So I would be embedding the uh, subscription widget in our uh, current website. Mm -hmm. But is it also possible to have a razor pay payment page as well? Like we can yes, have absolutely. multiple pages. You you can have multiple pages, multiple buttons, all serving the same purpose. Okay. You should be able to do it. Right. Thank you so much. All right, then, folks, if there's no other uh, questions, uh, thank you so much for uh, your time on uh, this afternoon. And we had a lovely time, me and the team, Rinal, Sanya, uh, Akhila, from, uh, thank you so much. We we, uh, we really enjoyed this session, and I hope it was very useful to the participants as well. Thank you so much, Gautam. I think it was a very thorough session. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Rinal and Sanya, for joining in. Thank you for answering all the questions on the chat box.